Hello and welcome back to the Farm Your Who's Me Kevin back on Kerbal Space Program and today we have just returned from our third and final rescue mission and we shall be self-destructing the third and final or the first one we we rescued because I have remembered I only destroyed two of them. So we're going to the tracking station and you can see from this that I have already clicked terminate on a couple of the ones it was Horizon 4 and 8B I think, the one that was orbiting the moon. But there is one left, Horizon 2 and we have remotely accessed it somehow because there was no like satellite on it but satellite dish but it's fine we've remotely ac accessed it and we are going to terminate and self-destruct so say goodbye to horizon 2 which was the probably some record setter but goodbye oh god yeah, yeah yes there's no crew in it and it will just destroy it but goodbye and there we go Horizon 2 self-destructed along with the other two that were stuck out in orbit of Kerbin or orbit of the moon. Now, we are doing something different today. Um, it's going to be a sort of mod spotlight type thing like the um, ScanSat mod. When speaking of the ScanSat mod, we need to check out, I think it was Biosat 1. Or no, it's two, wasn't it? Well, anyway, we need to fly one of these because we need to check if they have completed the scan, which I believe they have. Is this the one I can control? Yes, it is. Okay. So, if we bring up the scan set mod, and yes, there we go. We have got the full scan of the surface of Kerbin, which is good. I believe we can't get the bio map up yet because we need to get a better... Um, better scanner than this this uh, first one. I think we might need to get the third rank or it might just be the second rank which is high. I don't know but either way if we click on the satellite here we can analyze the data which gives us some science. Now I've already got the science from the moon one because that finished ago because it was obviously the moon's a lot smaller but here we go, low res resolution now, telemetry scan of, of Kerbin. I'm probably saying that wrong completely, but even this low resolution data of the planet's surface is amazingly useful. You can't wait to develop the te technology on the moon or beyond. Well, we've already done the moon. So, um, yeah, I can't transmit this because this doesn't have a way to do that. I forgot to put one on. So we are going to have to send a ship to, like, sort of dock with it, send a Kerbin out, and add a satellite dish onto it. So we're just going to keep the experiment for now. But yeah, we will be upgrading these. Probably will be um, deorbiting them because it has got some fuel. Probably not enough. It's only got five, but it probably won't be enough to get deorbited. So I might have to self-destruct them. But either way, I'll be able to upgrade them, get the science and do a better scan. But that's not what we're here to do today. So if we go back to the Space Center, we are taking a look at the Research Bodies mod. Now this is a mod that I absolutely love. I think it's absolutely amazing and it should be in the game by default. But it's not. So I'll go into the Vehicle Sanity building, building and I'll show you what you need to do. Now, I can open up the saved things I have. I think it's all the way at the bottom, is it? Uh, the Oculus Space Telescope, which is what I made, sort of like the Hubble Space Telescope, but it's called Oculus because why not? I don't know why I did. And this beautiful thing right at the top, the TB75M Telescope, is the device you're going to need. Now it's in the science section of the menu, and there it is. You can see it's um, is a satellite body. It's got 300 electric charge, it's got 500 monopellant, and it's all well and good. It's got a reaction wheel, RCS thrusters, and whatnot. All good things. Now, I've worked on this rocket. It, I think, if I remember correctly, it was more than enough to get to orbit of what it needs to be. But yeah, you don't get this by default. You have to unlock it in the tech tree. So, 
let's go and check out where you get that from. Now it's quite early on which you re you get the um, you get it. I think it's in the basic science, or it might be in electric. It's somewhere around here. Um, am I seeing it? Where is it? It's somewhere around here. It might be down here. No, these are nothing in them. No, no. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's in space exploration. So it is quite early on. It does require quite a bit of science, but you're not going to need it until you've gone to the moon and like got the science from there. So you should have enough science from Kerbin and the moon to easily get to this. And it's in space exploration. I think this costs 90, like all the rest of this like tech tier. And you get that along with other good stuff that you will need. But we're going to focus on the TB75M telescope. Now I believe this is the only telescope that the mod adds. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. It might, they might add another one, but it's the only one I've seen so far. So I'm going to assume that it is the only one in the mod. Now, if we go to tracking station again, we need to go to the one I've already put in orbit, which is this. I know it's a really weird orbit. It doesn't need to be like this. It's because when I was launching it up, the rocket kind of had a spaz and it went off a bit. So let's fly this and see what we need to do with it. It's a really cool, really cool mod. Right, um, yep, got the everything set up with all the um, solar panels. Now this is going to need solar panels, so you might need to get another tech after this. But I've got these slightly cheaty, but slightly not cheaty solar panels that work on everything, even though they're supposed to only work on ground experiments. But oh, oh wow! Well, I think they're only meant to work on ground experiments. But yeah, this um, this telescope requires power and energy and electricity to function and every time you start scanning for something which what I'll show you next it takes I think 10 10 electric charge from it you can see this is gaining some at the moment but what do we need to do oh, there's some objects in the distance they're cool right by default on this save I believe I could only see the Sun Kerbin and the moon and to research Minmus, you have to obviously research it, like the like the mod name was suggested. It's called Research Bodies for a reason. But I have already researched Minmus, which is over here because I've already been there before I updated the mod. So I thought I'll I'll get that straight away. But if you scroll out, you can see that I've only discovered the Kerbin system, and I don't know these objects around here. I know that they're there because I've spotted them in the night sky, but I don't know where the hell they are going, what their orbit is, what they're called even at the moment. I just know the size of them and other stuff like that. Now I've already aimed the telescope at this one, so I'm going to aim it at this one. And the best way to do this, I don't know if it's a bit cheaty, but I think it's the only way you can do it effectively right now, but you click on it and you set it as the target and you'll get this pink marker here. Now if we go back into this view, we need to aim, 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 okay, we're aiming at that, and there we go, we're aiming at that purple thing there, and we click on this, and we click the research bodies button, and you are at a height of 250,000 meters, then brings up this menu, which is all one could, and we click the track bodies menu, and if it sees, it's in line of sight, of what you're aiming at it should I say it should but it won't if you click that and every time you click this it takes some charge out you can see on that side I've clicked it it's taken like five out or something but I am not aiming at the right thing apparently so maybe if I get there nope space only nope nope, nope. okay well screw the purple thing we will attempt to get this one Actually, no, we'll go with this one because I don't know what this is. I, don't, I can't remember what this one's called, but we'll set that as a target. And we will go there. If we can get this perfect right. Then we'll click the button again. Nope, space only. Nope. There we go. We've discovered we've just discovered Dres, a small grey planet orbiting the sun, and it gives us 20 science straight off the bat there. That's very useful straight away. 
but can we get another one? So we've got Draz. We don't actually know the orbit yet. We've just seen it in the sky. We've now named it, and we can research it further. But I really want to get this one. So let's just go over here. Okay, that should be good. We are facing it pretty much, and let's track bodies. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this happened when I got um, when I researched Moho as well. It just, it, oh, I'm sorry, it, no, it didn't. No, it did with the moon, the moon Minmus. It just refused to accept that I could. I was looking at it, and it might be because I'm not looking at it like properly or not. Let's just spam it. Oh, oh yes, we just we j did just get it. You can see it add 20 science points there. I clicked track bodies too fast, but I believe we have now got um, Eve. I believe that is. Don't, I'm pretty sure it's Eve. Okay, so we've researched it now. We don't need this. We can just leave this in orbit. It's gaining electric charge. We need to go to the space center because we need to go back out and we need to actually research these bodies properly now, which is good. Now, researching the bodies comes in this tab here. Discover bodies, track them, fly to them. You click this and it brings up this menu of all the different options that you've researched. Well, that you've uh, tracked with the satellite. Now, you can see Minmus here. I have discovered it. Mm -hmm. I have um, discovered the orbit and characteristics and everything about it. Minmus is now fully researched. You can send vessels to it. And it says, state of research there. Now, we'll go Moho first because it's the close. Actually, no, we'll go to Dread because it's the closest one to us. I believe and the easiest one to get to other than like Mimus and the Moon. And you here it gives this menu. We've just discovered Dresden small planet orbiting the Sun. Right, now we click this button, it does cost fifteen funds to start, and depending on the distance away from Kerbin, it costs more and more money to research it. So we'll click this and it will go ten percent things. Um and uh, you can now click the stop researching for Drez, or you can research the aspect of Drez. And we'll click that again. It uses more science, no more science, more funds. We'll click it again, see the, the percentages going up. There we go, we re researched the aspect. Now we need to research the characteristic in orbit, and we just click this. Spending all the money and making Valmer von Kermin go mental. And there you go, 100% research date. Dress is now fully researched. You can send vessels to it, which is all well and good. Now, I believe that cost a little bit more than Mimus, as you would expect, because it's further away. But let's go with Eve. Research hmm. this. Our image was so powerful that we were able to see a purple dot in the sky. Bob named it Eve. First, we thought it was an ice cream like Mimus, but then scientists at R&D said it's impossible that close to the sun. Which is a shame, because I'm sure everyone would love another planet made of ice cream. So let's research it. 15 funds to start. Oh, this costs 15 funds now, and every time I click the button, it will cost 15. I believe, yeah, mm -hmm. Mimus was 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Mimus and Dress mm -hmm. were the same. Mm -hmm. Moho, 15, mm -hmm. and Eve is 15 as well. Mm. Okay, so we'll click this. <laughs> click the aspect. There we go. They can go going hang all the time, and we have... There we go. I think that took more clicks. It might just take 10 clicks every time, but it just costs more funds. And there we go. Eve is now fully researchable. And Vessel can send to it. And we'll do Moho while we're here real quick. So we've got enough funds for it. And there we go. Moho is fully researched. And you get science points. As I, I forgot to mention. You get science points when you fully research it. So you get science points. You get 20 when you research it first. And you've named it and you see it in the sky and then when you fully researched it you get another 10 science points which is brilliant so we will click this button to get off it and we're going to track a station because we will show you what we can now see and there you go we can now see all of the orbits of the planets we have discovered now we haven't discovered that one which i think that one is the one I was aiming for, but I decided to get Drez anyway. But oh well. Yeah, see, now we can click on the system. Well, we could if that didn't do that. This is a little bug I'm having is when I click onto a system, it goes, oh no, you can no longer see anything. But yeah, 
if it was not bugged, you'd sh you'd be able to see the system and I believe the moons. I don't believe you have to research the moons separately, but I might be wrong. I think you, you might have to research the moons separately. But there you go. That is the Research Bodies mod. If you liked that, make sure you give it a like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't seen the Scansat mod that I did, there will be links somewhere to the side or in the description. You'll be able to check that out. And if you came to this video just randomly and you haven't seen any more of my uh, playthrough of Cable Space Program, make sure you check that out as well. But until then, goodbye.